Good evening, good morning, good night, wherever you may be watching this transmission. It is I, your humble servant, Mike Martins, broadcasting from Merritt, British Columbia. Well, what's happening down under? Well, if you've been watching my channel, you've been seeing that Canada and Australia have been impacted. Look at money laundering. Canada would be in a recession without criminals, money laundering. Canada's GDP needs money laundering. Australian money laundering fiasco. And there's one here where I actually predicted how much, look, Australian money laundering. Uh, I think I predicted for money laundering in Australia was 90, 90 billion, maybe $100 billion. Before you all freak out and like, make you crazy. Well, Canada's got $200 billion. If you break it down by province, here it is in billions. How many billions was laundered? Um, about $200 billion. In Canada, so so let's let's see here. Let's see here what's going on with this whole. Uh, this is from I think it's uh, ABC News. Uh, always broadcasting crap. Um, so yeah, the CCTV here is uh, showing something here. So let's take a look at this here real quick. So it looks like wow, bricks of money, just bricks of cash. Look at that. Man, if I try pulling something like this in this country, and I, and I'm like, and, and I'm a, a local, and I'm like a, I'm part of this country, man, they throw me in a hockey bag and throw me down the river. But I guess if it's a, I guess if somebody else does it, I guess it's okay, right? Yeah, that's how it is. Outsiders usually come in and do what they want in our countries. Crown Crown Casino whistleblower alleges gambling giants skirting skirting money laundering laws. Uh, yeah, and this was uh, thrown up four hours ago. So what is happening? In a private room in Melbourne's Crown Casino, a man wearing a tracksuit, pants, and runners approaches the counter with a rectangular blue cooler bag. CCTV footage shows a punter exchanging hundreds of thousands of dollars for gambling chips. Yes, they've been doing this in Vancouver for years. They come in with these high rollers. They come in, they buy those lavender high-end chips like 10,000 or 30,000 or 50,000 a chip, walk around a bit, flaunt their chips to the girls and she'll look look at me. Woo! And then they and then they they have a few drinks, lose maybe a couple of hundred bucks. They don't lose more than a thousand. You never lose more than a thousand or it doesn't work, right? And then go back and keep cashing your chips. The whistleblower claims foreign high rollers avoid customs inspections, and exchange a huge amount of cash with no trace. Crown Casino denied the allegation, saying that it has a strong history of compliance with its obligations. <laughs> that could be like, like a sad, slow song. History of compliance with its obligations. <laughs> Woo! Anyways, calmly, he unzips the bag to reveal its contents. Dozens of thick, neatly stacked bundles of Australians' fifty and hundred dollar notes. I don't think this guy needs to go gamble if he's got that much money, right? The bricks of cash are casually exchanged for gaming chips uh, for the punter, who is inside a special junket room in the South Bank Casino for the Sun City Group. His bag contains hundreds of thousands of dollars. Crown Casino is obliged to report transactions over 10000 to the country's anti-money laundering and authority, AUSTR, Austrac. These types of transactions are not uncommon, as CCTV footage from a whistleblower obtained by the ABC show. But leaked reports from the Victorian Gambling Watchdog in 2017 detailed concerns from inspectors about these types of transactions and the lack of recording keeping by the gambling giant. There you go, people. Yeah, it's been happening. I mean, this has been happening for years. Australian Housing Casino. And um, imagine how much money has been laundering and shadow flipped through Australia. Woo! Casinos are mad over simple regulation. I read this a month ago that Canadian casinos are crying because they have to go by regulation and have to contact the money laundering board, blah, 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 if it's over $10,000. And they're mad about that. Vancouver is a money laundering hotspot. Uh, housing crisis, dirty money, drugs, gambling in Canada. Oh, man. But Australia's got quite a bit down here. And there's the, the article I read. It's in here somewhere where it actually discusses... Um, 
how much I think. I think it's about in eighty to hundred billion dollars laundered through casino, through 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 Australia, not casino, through Australia, through via gambling, uh, like fr- gambling fraud, and uh, most of it through through real estate fraud. One whistleblower says foreign high rollers often fly into Australia on private jets, avoiding customs exp- in- inspections and exchanging huge, amount- huge amounts of cash with no trace. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg about what is going on at Crown. I think Crown are, lo- are the law unto them- themselves, the whistleblower said. Money is coming in illegally. You don't know where the cash is coming from. You don't know if it's a result of drug trafficking or prostitution or a child exploitation you just don't know but we in canada they do know they know it's from the opioids and the drugs and all this these factories in china creating these these deadly drugs uh that are basically destroying um the fabric of canadian society right uh no no basis for allegations says crown sun city is a macau based junket operator that flies in wealthy Chinese gamblers to uh, to casinos in Australia. It has dedicated gaming room for within Crown's, Crown's Melbourne Casino. Inspectors from the Victorian Commissioner for Gambling and Liquor Regulation uh, raised serious concern in reports about these transactions in the junket uh, operator rooms because there was a lack of recordings such as transactions within the Crown systems. It also it also says that the staff on the floor, when questioned about the large transaction, replied that it was a matter between the junket operator and the punters. So there it is. Crown has a comprehensive anti-money laundering AML and center terrorism financing the CTF program, which has been and continues to be a subject to ongoing regulatory supervision by Austrac, the spokespersons uh, said. Well, it's like saying, well, my car's got seatbelts in it, so I'm going to be wearing my seatbelts. But how can I prove to people? Yeah, it's like like there's things in place to protect the Australian. Because the Australian proper is the one that's getting getting put through the ringer, right? When so much foreign transaction and foreign money gets laundered into a, a country of 30 million or 25, 30 million people... The 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 uh, outcome is basically bought out. That's that's what happens. You get bought out. Your housing, everything bought out, and then production comes to a halt because you're no longer producing, and then you're no longer exporting as much, and and then consumer confidence goes down, and then people buy everything on credit. People take a loan out to buy a dishwasher. So that's how bad it's gotten in the Western countries. Crown provides a range of information in proactive manner in accordance with its regulatory obligations, including the reporting of all transactions over 10 large, international funds transfer in, uh, instructions, and the reporting suspicious transactions of any value. Crown has a strong history of compliance with the commitment of its AMLCTF obligations, and we work closely with the law enforcement and regulatory agencies in the support of that commitment. The casino is also limited for disclosing which agencies it shares its information with. The commission reports also describe how in one one case the VG, VCGLR instructed Crown to cease business with a junket operator, but it was rejected. The VGLR said one of the many regulators it worked with other agencies, including Victoria Police, So right here, a tough year. This is what everyone's been telling me before. It's been a tough year. This year, Crown Casinos in the spotlight of following an expose in the nine newspaper alleging Crown was doing business with several junket operators who had links to Asian crime gangs. Crown has denied any wrongdoing and hit out Nine's reporting, labeling it a deceitful campaign. Last year... The sixth review of Crown's license rec- recommended that the Crown undertake a robust review with external assistance or relevant controls to ensure the anti-money re- money laundering risks are being addressed. The whistleblower has also taken his concerns to the federal independent MP, Andrew Wiki, who will attempt to set up a royal commission into the matter. Good. So they, did, they set up a royal commission into the housing crisis and the banking, with, the, with this banking banking cartel was doing and 
they ended up getting their hand caught in the cookie jar more than a couple of hundred times from just from scratching the surface. So everything's going to come to light. And um, I think if you type in, yeah, laundering, I think if you type in laundering in my channel, you'll see the one, the Australia one, where a lot of people were, were right here. 63 billion laundered in Australia housing, my opinion. This video I did three months ago, I believe that there's about 63 billion laundered in Australian housing. That's what I think. That's that's just me, right? Going off how much Canada would be in a recession without money laundering, 200 billion bucks, and it's broken down here by province. So I'm just kind of giving you guys what I think. So... So this is through the casino, via the casino, is, is different. This could have been, this could be going on for 20, 30 years. We don't even know, you know what I'm saying? There's a huge question for politicians to answer because there's no way Crown would be would be being involved in criminal activity on that scale unless it felt it had top cover, Mr. Wiki said. So someone at the top is basically covering up, basically. Any reasonable person looking at that footage would straight away draw a conclusion that there was money laundering going on at Crown must be somehow covering it up. And at least a Victorian gambling regulator is not looking into this properly. Of course, they're not going to look into this properly. Victoria's Auditor General in 2017 also attacked the VCGLR for not paying sufficient attention to key risks, including money laundering. So guys, it's not just Crown. It's it's There's a lot going on and there's a lot of shadiness going on. And... And you you got to you got to put you got to connect the dots. China is not looking good economically. It's not looking good trade with with its trade. It's not looking good for energy. You know, a lot of things are happening in China. It's their housing crisis is built on the house of cards. Their housing empty tens of hundreds of thousands of millions and millions and millions of empty apartments littered across China. Uh you know, people, uh, the, the, it's government building a, a bubble on a bubble on a bubble on a bubble with no ends in sight. But China's being smart. They're buying up gold. That's what they're doing. They're buying up gold in record. They're selling U.S. treasuries and using the money to buy gold. All right. So that's what they're doing. Um, they are doing it. I mean, they're, they're, China is trying to deleverage all of its bad debt by buying into gold right now uh, as a country. Right. So money laundering down under, and it's been going on. This is my opinion here, guys. Watch this this video, 63 billion laundered in Australian housing, my opinion. If we go back to 2014 to fix this problem, in 2013, the median house prices in Sydney rose by 15%, and some suburbs, suburbs 27%, cash pouring in from foreign investors. So this is a really good one, 63 billion laundered in Australia, housing opinion. That's just my opinion, guys, so don't take it serious, please. Um, oh, look at this, Chinese investors buying up Athens, Greece. Yeah. So this goes back years. Some of the stuff goes back years. Look at this. Opioid vending machines machines in uh, Canada they're putting now. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. And big hug to my friends down under. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to share this video. Thanks.